Oh, you want witch? I'll give you witch shit! <laughs> I don't like recording my shoes on anyway, that's fine. <laughs> Hello, fuckers. It's I, your goth mother, Madame Goth. Kermit voiced elementary school teacher, apparently, <laughs> Flower Gothic. It has come to my attention that the meme man himself, Keemstar, has found my video where, according to him, I want to cancel him for. Which <laughs> was not exactly my point with the video. Like, I know Keemstar is never gonna get fucking canceled at this point. Like, I'm pretty sure people have tried before many, many times. But upon re-watching the video, which I filmed on my phone, the point of the video was more me saying like, hey, maybe you should not profit off of someone's personal life instead of, hey, he talked about something I didn't like. He therefore must be canceled. I think cancel culture is rather counterproductive. I have seen people that I both like and dislike attempted to be canceled. I myself was almost canceled-ish back in 2017 when I read a fan fiction. I'm not even mad about the harassment I'm getting or lack thereof because only like, what? 1% of Keemstar's fan base is legitimately trying to like harass me. <laughs> I'm just mad that it took me five hours to find the out. And I would have found out about it much, much later if it wasn't for me randomly checking his timeline for the lols. He also didn't seem to give me any sense of credit for the video. I guess because he assumed I wouldn't find it because I'm a small ass channel. But, Keem, Keem my man, I've been randomly checking your timeline ever since you interviewed the other wart on YouTube, Onision, who has been repeatedly trying to copyright my videos about him reading his self insert fan fiction. So, I got that to worry about as well! <laughs> Gotta admit though, I find it kind of ridiculous that a man twice my age was so triggered by my video about him thinking that, oh, I wanted to cancel him, that he had to like publicize it. <laughs> like, bro, I, I have like less than a quarter of the subscribers you have. How fucking salty do you need to be? Upon like conferring with a close friend of mine about this, she said that the reason why he picked me as the target for all this canceling bullshit that, again, I didn't even promote was because I look the most granola girly. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I guess because I'm a non-binary feminist, your Keem stands would get a laugh out of it. I'm laughing too because like, some of these are pretty creative. One of y'all like compared me to the Black Spy and Spy vs. Spy, which was a comic I loved growing up. <laughs> Why do y'all seem to compare me to the Wicked Witch of the West, which I take as a compliment? Some of y'all said that I look like a teacher, which my dad's a teacher, my maternal grandmother was a teacher, so I take that as a compliment as well. Teachers deserve the world. You have no idea what shit they have to go through every day of their lives. But I love, again, how he took my video out of context. Didn't think they were real. A female neckbeard. <laughs> honey, 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 I've already had my neckbeard days. Like, that was my entire preteenhood. I was practically a fem cell. Oh, this is the one my friend said I should get a t-shirt of. What is that creature? The Wicked Witch of the West? Jesus Christ, get me the holy water. A lot of y'all saying that I'm a man, which is a joke I've heard since I was 11, so it doesn't affect me. A lot of edgy memes that I'm not going to repeat. Some of y'all compare me to post-op Michael Jackson, which I find hilarious. 
Guess cuz I'm a pale, dark-haired broad. A lot of random K-pop shit. They got the full feminist starter pack. True, I am indeed a feminist. Please don't use that word as a slur. That tells me a lot more about you than I should ever know. So, dot dot dot, why do you have the wicked vegan of South Cali trying to cancel you? There are three things wrong with that statement. One, I'm not a vegan. Two, I live in Texas, not South Cali. Although I did live in South Cali for like eight months, but I don't count that shit. And three, again, watch out Keem, don't want her to do a Hannah Baker. I actually had to Google that because I didn't get the reference and apparently it's a reference to Netflix's 13 Reasons Why, which is a shit show. Like, it's not even the subject matter that I am have the issue with. It's just a bad, bad show, bad writing, bad characters. It's just bad. These people are so weird. Why are they focusing all their time and energy on this? I don't know, man. This was like the first time I mentioned Keem on my channel and apparently it makes me get on his fucking drama alert show, so I don't know. <laughs> Who gave Yoko Ono access to the internet again? <laughs> hey, Yoko Ono was actually a looker back in her days, I tell you that. This is the source of my nightmares. Good! Bruh, dead ass. Until I muted it, I thought it was Sue Hulk, who I do not know. It's a Scottish SJW lookalike. Is this Count Dankula's girlfriend, wife, person? Okay then. The K poop stands are actually getting pissed off. Now is our time to strike. I don't listen to K pop, man. Never got into it, never will get into it. I've got friends who are into it but I am not one of those people. Indeed, she is mad. Mad that I didn't find that out sooner. <laughs> Borderline Kermit. <sighs> Honestly, one of the reasons why I got made fun of in my early adolescence and people saying like, oh, you're a man is because I sound like fucking Golden Girls B. Arthur. It's an unusually deep voice for a woman and you don't expect that shit, but fuck you. I actually kind of like having a deep, Hedge yes voice. Because if I sound high pitched, I sound like fucking Elmo! Elmo loves hugs! Do you wanna hug? Okay, I'll stop now. Tell Van Helsing to relax. I take that as a compliment. If you're referring to Bram Stoker's original Dracula, in which Van Helsing is one of my favorite characters. She looks like a classic art teacher. I can't draw for shit, mate. <laughs> It's honestly so sad that people like this exist. It's honestly so sad that a man twice my age took my video about, hey, maybe you should not profit off of someone's personal life out of context. She mad BC her gender can't stop cheating, lol. And then there's like a number of people that are like, who are you? What is this? Who is this person? Bro, some movie company made a modernized witch movie. This is what the main protagonist would look like. Another witch one. And I take that as a compliment too. Why is she sitting on the floor? Because it was a last minute video and I really didn't want to bother with the setup because I just wanted to like make it, upload it, not have to put it through an editor. And like this video, which is being edited and posted. Why does she look like V from V from Vendetta? In case you didn't know where V was from, which is another thing I take as a compliment because V for Vendetta is a really good graphic novel. I highly recommend it. Who the hell is that? They're just jealous they don't have a massive following. You can tell, you can just tell by how her voice sounds, she's really insecure. Y'all motherfuckers are fucking ridiculous. Thank you for giving me a good laugh for the past whatever minutes and I guess I'll see y'all next time which is probably going to be tomorrow because as I've said I'm gonna try and upload every day this month because this quarantine is making me go fucking mad. Bye bye!